So now it's time to install certain components of Android Studio that you will need to use with the FTC Robot Controller and FTC Driver Station app. So if you already have Android Studio uh, before the previous video tutorial, then just go and it automatically goes to your most recently worked on project. Just go to File and then Close Project and then open Android Studio again. And then you'll come to this Android Studio Setup Wizard. Welcome to Android Studio page. But if you uh, if you just installed Android Studio, you should already be at this page. So there are several files that you must download and install for the Robot Controller and Driver Station app. So click Configure over here, then hit SDK Manager. So yeah, now you're just gonna have to check everything off. Okay. So you need the first four links. So and the first three should already have been installed when Android Studio installed. So check off the fourth one. And then after that, check off. You don't need this Android M preview. You can uncheck this if you'd like. Check off the Android 5.11 or API 22, check off the Android 5.01 or API 21, and then check off, uh, so go to Android 4.4.2 over here, and then check off the SDK platform, and then go down a bit more and select oh wait no never mind select Intel 86 Atom system image over here under Android 4.4.2 then uh, keep heading down then make sure that the Google repository is selected and the Google and the Android support library and then also make sure that the Google USB driver is installed so this is a lot of files. This is nearly 20 gigabytes worth of files. So there are some files in this that you do not need, such as system images. So if you would like, you can uncheck the system images for Android 5.1.1 and for and for Android 5.0.1. and then click install. So it's just going to make sure that you uh, like read the licensing information and then accept the license and then it's going to let you install it. So this is still a lot of files. This is I believe nearly 15 gigabytes of files. So it does take a long, long time. So be patient, and I'll see you at the next step. You are now done with the Android SDK installation. Now on to the FTC SDK installation in the next video.